Hello, my name is Mariah Knight. So, just like a lot of people, I grew up in a Christian home, like hearing about Jesus like all the time. And sometimes when you grow up in a Christian home, like it doesn't sink in. It's like on the top surface, you know, like you know who Jesus is, you know what he did for you, but it's just like a side dish, if you will. <laughs> Throughout my whole life, I kept worrying that I was gonna go to hell. I kept worrying like, oh, what if, you know, Jesus didn't hear me that time, maybe I should do it again. And I kept asking Jesus over and over again to save me because I was just worried. And then my brother, Daniel, told me that, you know, you don't have to do that because once you ask Jesus to forgive you, he, he forgives you fully. And, you know, like the pastor says, he never loses track of his children. I do remember the one time after that that I really wanted to, I really wanted to mean it. And so I went outside and I sat on the swing and like the clouds started to roll in and then it started to thunder. But um, I asked Jesus to forgive me and I told him that I meant it. And I said, God, you know, like you use my life for your glory because I want to live for you. And I actually told him, uh, if you want to take me right now, I'm fine with that. <laughs> but he didn't. Um, and that was his way of saying, I think, that I have plans for you. And I felt that he was telling me that he's going to use me for his glory. And I used to think that that just meant um, when I get older, my life will have meaning. When I get older, I can, you know, like be used by God. But now I know that right now I can live for Jesus. Right now I can share in Jesus because Jesus is now. I can share, you know, to whomever, whenever, um, even though sometimes it's hard. <laughs> um, but God gives us the, the strength to um, tell and share because we love Jesus and we want to share about this good news, you know, about the cure to this um, horrible uh, disease. We disobey God and His law and, you know, we do bad things. It's just called sinning. And God is a loving God, but He's also a righteous God where um, He is perfect and we need to realize that we're not perfect. In order to make us perfect, in, in order to cleanse us from that sin, that bad stuff, we need um, someone who is perfect to cleanse us. And that's what Jesus did when he died on the cross, so that we can be righteous or pure in his sight. And to be a child of God is like, <laughs> it's something we all need. We all need, we all need Jesus. My favorite verse is 1 Peter 2, 9 to 10. Um, for, but you're not like that for your chosen people, a royal priesthood, um, a holy nation, God's very own possession, for he has called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God. Um, and once as people, you had no identity, now you're God's people. Once you received no mercy, now you receive God's mercy. It reminds me of the joy that I can have in Christ and that, you know, he, he took me as a sinner and he changed me so that I can be a child of his. I want to be baptized because um, Jesus told us in the Bible that we should be baptized and of course that doesn't mean that that's what makes us a Christian, but I want to be baptized because it's a proclamation of my faith. Um, and I want to show others that I am serious about this and I'm serious about loving Jesus.